And guys, at this point, these are accusations. No criminal charges have been filed. Therefore, WLWT is not naming this former Colerain High School coach. Now, I started asking administrators with the Northwest Local School District about this investigation on Tuesday. And today, administrators posted something on its website informing parents of what was going on. A former Colerain High School coach is at the center of a criminal investigation, accused of having an affair with a student. The coach resigned effective September 26, 2017, according to school records obtained by WLWT. Today, two days after we started questioning the Northwest Local School District about the investigation, administrators informed parents. That's at least a week after the school knew about the allegations. In a written statement, Superintendent Todd Bowling wrote, Northwest Local School District regards the safety and security of our students as a top priority at all times. Recently, the district received allegations of inappropriate conduct between a student and a Colerain High School coach off school grounds. The superintendent said the district took immediate action, initiated an investigation, contacted police and notified Children's Services. He said the employee was banned from the district property and from communicating with students and staff. According to district documents, this ex-coach emailed his resignation to the district nine days ago and he was to meet with administrators the next day. As the high school let out today, students told me the allegation is the talk of the school right now. They say the former coach was a popular employee who related to all students. Cincinnati police confirms its personal crimes unit is investigating the allegations, but no one has been charged. And administrators declined an interview today. I know we still have a lot of questions for them, and I'm sure parents do as well. And I hope to get those questions answered as so soon as the district fills my public records request. Reporting live in Colerain Township, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5.